In this video, we're going to talk about virtual private networks better known as VPN. So a VPN or a virtual private network is a way in which we can remotely connect to either the internet or a private network in a secure and encrypted manner. Now in this day and age with COVID-19 and a lot of people now working remotely from home, odds are if you're one of those people, you're probably using VPN to connect into your business network. So the way that it works is that on your computer at home is you would have a VPN client. This is software that you would install. And then over on the network that you're connecting to, it's going to have a VPN server. And what happens is that your client and the server, they create a tunneling protocol. And this tunneling protocol is used to create a protected tunnel through the internet to the VPN server on the distant network. So what does this do? Well, when we're connecting across the internet, what we're essentially doing is we're creating a tunnel where our data is traveling inside that protected tunnel and nobody can get access into that tunnel. So think about the tunnel as being your security measure. And the rest of the internet is outside of that. And your actual IP packets are traveling within that tunnel. So we're essentially encapsulating one protocol within another to ensure that our transmission is secure. So imagine that prying eyes trying to get in, they can't because they're outside of this tunnel and this tunnel is encrypting your data and your data is traveling inside this encrypted tunnel. That's the way that it works. Now there's a lot of protocols that make it work and that's gonna be beyond the scope of this course, but what you need to understand is that this creates an additional layer of security to ensure that our data that's traveling across the internet is traveling in a very secure manner into a distant network. Now, like I said, it's gonna be common in a business environment. So for example, this VPN server may be in the building where you work, where you're connecting into that private network, but it's also becoming very popular for end user use at home. So if we wanna connect very securely to the internet, to a service such as Amazon or Netflix or somewhere else, and we want to make sure that our data is really, really secure, we can use a service such as NordVPN, which I personally use, and I'll do a quick demonstration in this lecture, but that allows us to ensure that we're connected across the internet to a service provider, and I said, for example, Netflix or Amazon, but it could be your banking account. It could be anything where we want to make sure that our connection is very secure, we can do so with VPN as well. So let's actually talk about the services that provide that type of a service. So like I said on the last slide, personal use VPN services are becoming more and more popular and I personally use one. I use NordVPN to ensure that my data traffic is secure and protected from prying eyes. So we already know that a majority of websites use HTTP secure, which is encrypted by default. But by utilizing VPN, we're taking that extra layer of security and we're making sure that when we browse the internet, our data and our information is secure. So it's really just defense in depth. Now, VPN services also provide some additional benefits. Number one, they provide online anonymity, which is something that a lot of people want so they can't be tracked by their ISP. And number two, you can trick a service such as Netflix or Amazon into thinking that you're actually in a different location. Because the way that it works is that you have your VPN client, you're going to connect into a VPN server, and with these VPN services like NordVPN, they have services all across the world. And based upon where you connect, that's where the service provider thinks that you physically are. So let's do a quick demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and pull up Bing, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up NordVPN. So what you're going to notice is that with NordVPN, I've connected to a VPN server in the United States. And so with Bing, everything here is associated with the United States. But what if I went into Bing and I picked a server in Mexico and I connected to a VPN server in Mexico? Well, I could go to Bing, I could refresh it. And as it refreshes, you're going to notice that it says Espanol and everything here is associated with Mexico. So it thinks that I'm in Mexico. If I went here again and I switched it to, for example, let's say the United Kingdom, again, 
it should change. So now it thinks that I'm physically in the United Kingdom. If I refresh this, it should change. And now everything here is associated with the United Kingdom. So that's the way that a personal VPN service works. Not only does it provide that extra layer of security by making sure that all your data is traveling through an encrypted tunnel to the VPN server and then from the VPN server out to the internet, it also provides online anonymity and it also can trick your service provider into thinking that you're in different countries. So those are some added benefits with VPN service. And they're also very affordable. If you're not using one, I'd highly recommend that you consider using one just because it adds on an extra layer of security. So now let's talk about business types of VPN. Moving on to the business types of VPN, there are two different types. There's the remote access VPN, which is a client to site connection. And then there is the site to site VPN, which is also called an intranet VPN. So the most common type is going to be the remote access VPN, where we have a remote worker. They connect into a VPN client and that's going to allow them to connect into their workplace. So they're going to have a VPN server or multiple different VPN servers at the workplace or in their data center, and it allows people to work remotely. So in 2021 and beyond, where a lot of people are transitioning to working full time from home because of COVID, well, this is definitely a solution that a lot of businesses utilize. It's very similar to NordVPN, except when you connect into a VPN server, NordVPN is going to use that server and connect you to a website. In this instance, the VPN server is going to connect you into the private network for your business. Now, the site-to-site -site VPN, or in other words, the intranet VPN, it's pretty basic and straightforward like it's depicted on the screen. If we have a business that has two different sites and we want to connect them together using defense in depth, making sure that our connection is really secure, well, we could implement VPN connections between both of the buildings. And that way we have a site-to-site -site or an intranet VPN between these two different buildings and our larger internal network. It's about making sure that the connection between our two buildings is as secure as it can be if we're connecting over a public link over the internet. So anyways, that's going to conclude our lecture on VPNs. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Take care. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you learned a lot from it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're interested in taking this full course or just learning more about it, check out the video description down below because I've included a link where you can learn more about the course and enroll into it if you'd like. So again, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys at the next video. Take care.